Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I've come into Glasgow again and where I'm going to be stopping off at is the Clydeside Distillery which is right on the banks of the River Clyde. It's located between the Riverside Museum and the SECC and uh, the Science Centre is actually on the other side of the water just up down the river a wee bit. So I'm going to be going on a wee tour around the distillery itself uh, this is one of the, the, the hour long ones. They do have other tours on offer. I think they've got like a chocolate and whiskey tour, they've got a manager tour. Uh, they've got different things on offer that you can book yourself on and come along and experience. So I'm going to grab a bag in a minute and head on in and get my ticket. Before I do that, if you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page and the channel's TikTok account in the description bar below and in the pinned comment in the comment section. And I will also leave a link to, to the facilities uh, website, so if you want to have a look at what they have on offer, you can click on their website and book your tour there. So with that out of the road, I'm going to grab a bag and head on in. So this is the distillery here. Quite a distinctive iconic clock tower. You've got the SECC over there. And you can just make it the Science Centre Tower over there. And that's the Riverside Museum and Tall Ship over there. So this is the main entrance down this way. I think this is quite a relatively new distillery but it's actually a really nice building yeah that's uh the stills in there We've got a really nice little shop where you can treat yourself to something. They've got a little nice little cafe as well where you can treat yourself to some whiskies as well. And this is where the tour start from. Just through these doors. So they also sell other brands of whiskey, not just their own. I've got Lafroig and a lot of others. And if you really want to, you can treat yourself to some people cigars. For all you Game of Thrones fans, I've also spotted this. They're selling uh, different whiskies that have different houses on them. So they've got Tully, Tyrell. Baratheon, Stark, Targaryen, Lannister, and Greyjoy. So the tour continues on this way.
And if you do come to the Clydeside distillery, uh, do keep in mind that half of it, but half the tour is self-guided. So we'll get shown up to where they have, at this room here where they have a lot of information about distilleries, especially in Glasgow. We'll get information about like, uh, do you and all that kind of stuff, right? And uh, you'll have people here in the background. There's a video going that gives you a lot of information about the Whiskey Barons. And then you get, there's another room across the way, which I think I've got, there's a video, video footage of. And then the last part of the tour, you will end up getting some samples of the whiskey they have on offer. And as I will be driving, I will be taking it home with me and sampling it at home. The barley will cling to this smoke, and this is the point in the process where you would get smoky flavours. Does anybody like their smoky whiskies here? Hands up. So feel free to have a wee look at our mash pan. You can really smell the selling when you're in here. Yeah, these are the copper stills that you're able to see from outside. And you can just feel the heat from them because they are selling right now. And they've also done one to commemorate the COP26, which was held in Glasgow last year, in 2021. Yeah, so uh, the Morrison's Glasgow Distillers are the company that owns this distillery. And that's cross stop one, or stop cross one, I mean. That's the, the first one they've actually ever distilled in this distillery. Well, that's me back from my tour of the Clydeside distillery. And again, it's quite a, quite a small distillery, it's quite a young distillery. Uh, but it's currently proving fairly popular. There's people kind of just blocking into the, the, the distillery just now for the next tour. So I, I think I'll be within the next few minutes. And yeah, so that it does seem to be kind of quite a, a popular place for folks to come and visit. And like, again, it's probably a really good place to come and stop and visit. If you are in Glasgow and you want to see a distillery, but you don't have the chance to go off too far afield. And if you are in Glasgow and you go on to one of the the big red city sightseeing buses, which does leave from George Square, then it, I'm pretty sure it stops at the other side of the, the distillery, but also definitely stops off at the Riverside Museum. So you can always jump off and come and visit the, the Clydeside distillery while, while while you're here and then jump back on the bus and finish your tour so it's probably one of the easiest facilities to get to if you're in Glasgow and definitely somewhere to to stop off and visit and have a tour of I know I've enjoyed my visit I know I've enjoyed the tour that I managed to go on and I would definitely recommend this to anyone who enjoys having some whiskey and enjoys going on, on distillery tours. So hopefully you will all have enjoyed this video, hopefully you will all be intrigued by the Clydeside Distillery and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.